Welcome everyone to CA Daily Touchpoints. It's great to be with you. As Matt shared with us yesterday, we are going to be following along with our CA Daily Bible reading plan, which you can find on our website or our Christian Assembly app. We are in the book of John, and so today we'll be in John chapter 11. In John 11, we read the story of a man named Lazarus. Lazarus is sick, and he eventually dies. Jesus goes to Lazarus and Jesus ends up doing a miracle. He raises Lazarus from the dead and brings him back to life. But before Jesus does that, he has a conversation with Martha, who is one of the sisters of Lazarus. And we pick up in verse 25, a part of this conversation. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Jesus asks Martha, do you believe this? That word believe is used eight times in John chapter 11. And the Greek word that is translated as believe often carries with it a sense of trust. So I think when Jesus says to Martha, do you believe this? He's not just saying, do you believe this with your head? But he's saying, do you believe this with your heart? Are you trusting what I am saying? Are you believing in and trusting in me and what I'm saying to you about me being the life and the resurrection and about life after death for all of those who place their trust in Jesus Christ? This question that Jesus asks Martha is a question that we can ask ourselves. Do you believe this? Do you believe in Jesus as the life and the resurrection, as your Lord and as your Savior? Do you believe what Jesus says about life after death? Because what we know is true is that for all those who have given their life to Christ and placed their trust in Jesus, we receive the gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus. Death and sickness are not the end of our story for those who are in Christ because we have eternal life in Christ Jesus. And that is good news. That is great news. We live, you guys, we're living in a really crazy time right now, uh, a really interesting time. And it would be easy to place our hope or our trust or our belief in other things or people or research or medicine or whatever it is. And the truth is our ultimate hope is not found in this world. Our ultimate hope is found in Christ and Christ alone. And for those who are in Christ, we need to remind ourselves of the truth that we have the gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus. Death is not the end of our story. Sickness and coronavirus are not the end of our story, but we have eternal life in Christ Jesus. And that is such good news. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for the good news that you offer us. Thank you, God, for all those who have said yes to you, Jesus, as their Lord and Savior. Thank you that we have received the gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus. And God, for anyone who is listening or watching and doesn't know you, would you speak to them? Would you reveal yourself to them? And would you help them to give their life to you as their Lord and Savior? We pray all this in your name, Jesus. Amen. And if you are here and you have never said yes to Christ, but you are ready to make that decision right now, I want to let you know you can do that right now where you are. You can pray with me right now and you can pray to God and just say, God, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Forgive me for my sin. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I commit to following you all the days of my life. And if you prayed that prayer, then know that you are saved and you have received new life in Christ Jesus. And that new life starts now and you receive the gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus. And that is good news. That is great news. If you made the decision to follow Jesus for the first time, we would love to chat with you. Please DM us and one of our pastors would love to follow up with you. Thanks, everyone.